Hi guys! Good day! This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is all about permutations. But this time, this is quite tricky. At the same time, it's, it's more complicated than the first permutations that we had. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have an example right here. There are four different mathematics books and five different science books. In how many ways can books be arranged on a shelf if, letter A, there are no restrictions, letter B, books of the same subject must be placed together, and letter C, if they must be placed alternately. Okay, once again, let me repeat it back. We have four different mathematics books. We have four different mathematics books, and we have five different science books. Alright, so four different mathematics books and five different science books. Okay, so let's try to answer that. Number one, letter A, no restrictions. Alright, so we have four mathematics books and so we have four mathematics books and we have five science books. So four mathematics books and five science books. Now, if there are no res restrictions, no restrictions, it means class that you can arrange those books in any order. Okay, in any order. So you can arrange it in any order. So you can have it M, mathematics, science, mathematics, science, science, math, science. So in any order class. So no restriction. So therefore. You just count how many number of books, the total number of books. So we have four and five science books. So our answer is just very easy class. That's permutation or the number of ways. So four plus five, that is, so you just add, just add the number of books. So four plus five, that's nine. That would be nine factorial. And then you will be asking, sir, why is it nine? Once again, because there are no restrictions, you can arrange the books in any order. So, in any order, so just add those number of books, total number of books, 4 plus 5, that's 9, and get the factorial. 9 factorials. It means 9 times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. And it's very hard for us to multiply those numbers. So, the thing that we will do is we just need to use the calculator, our friend. Okay, our friend, calculator. So we have 9, then shift this one. So we have 9 factorial. So 9, then shift, factorial. So 9 factorial, that is 362,880 ways. Alright, so that's it. That's how you solve for the first question. No restrictions. So for no restriction, just simply add the total number of books. Okay? If you have, if you face this kind of problems, just very easy, just add those total number of books. So let's have letter B. So in letter B, okay, the question there is same subject must be placed together. So same subject must be placed together. So same subject, it means that you can place, uh, you have math, math, so we have four mathematics. So same subject must be placed together. So first math, so we have four math, Mathematics books and we have five science books Alright, so we have four mathematics books and um, Five science books, but do not forget class that we can still arrange this one. Why is it sir? Because we can arrange that science books comes first before math so we can also do it like this s s s Okay, same subject must be placed together. So we have five science books and we have four mathematics books. Alright? So therefore, in mathematics, so we have four ways to arrange this one in, in which they are placed together. Okay? So four ways to arrange math and five ways to arrange the science. Just count the number of mathematics books. One, two, three, four. We have four places to arrange math and five places to arrange the science books. So we have uh, permutation that's equivalent to 4 factorial. Multi this is the mathematics books, 4 ways to arrange in these places. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 ways. Same with this one, 4 ways. And for science book, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we have 5 ways. 5 factorial. 5 places to arrange the science, the science book. 
and we can still arrange this one we have two ways okay we can arrange this mathematics comes first before science or science comes first before math multiplied by two ways so once again do not be confused sir where did you get this for I get this four because we have four ways to arrange mathematics books in this particular order. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, four ways. And we have five ways to arrange the science book. So we have one, two, count the number of science books. One, two, three, four, five. Because if this is the order class, this is the shelf. Okay. Okay, the, the position of the shelf, one, two, three, four. So we can put math here in which they should be place together so we have four ways one two three four we have four positions and for science books next one two three four five so science 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 so we have five positions we have five ways that's why we have four factorial and five factorial sir where did you get this two we get this two because we can arrange in which we can do the mathematics we can so we can put the mathematics first in the position and the second way, we can put the science first before the math. So that's it. That's why we have two factorial. So this will be, so four factorial, this is, so four factorial, that's four times three times two times one. We multiplied it by five factorial, that's five times four times three times two times one. And two factorial, that's two times one. That's it. All right, so we have four factorial. So she four fac four factorial is twenty four. Four times three is twelve times two is twenty four. So we have twenty four multiplied by five factorial. You can actually use calculator class. This one very easy. You can solve it by using the calculator. But let me just uh, do it manually one by one so five factorial that's 120 times two factorial so times two so we have 24 times 120 times two so 5760 5760 ways that's it all right so that's it now let's try the last example so, if they must be placed alternately, okay, alternately. So, if we say, so if we say math comes first before science, so we have math, science, so we have four math, math, science, math, science, math, science, we have four math, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we have five science, one, two, three, four, five, we cannot do it like this. We cannot write it like, we cannot place the, the books like this. It's because it should be alternately. And we have two sciences close to each other. So, therefore, we cannot do it like this. We can uh, arrange this one like this. So, we have we have nine positions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, science comes first, must be comes first before math. So, we have... Science, math, science, math, science, math, science, and math, then science. So let's count the number of math books. One, two, three, four. Let's count the number of science. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's it. So this is the correct positions of books. So look at the position class. We can only have four positions for math books. One, first position, two, three four we can only have four positions for math books therefore we only have four ways to put the math books four ways one two three four so four ways for math books or four, four permutations or four factorial for the math books and for science one two three four five so we have five ways or five factorial so the answer the permutation equals so we can only place four mathematics books in this position one two three four so that would be four factorial oh so in mathematics class you can arrange this one you can put this m in this first position m the second position m in this third you can arrange that one so that's why we have four factorial you can arrange this one by this particular position for mathematics okay and for science you can arrange the science books 
by this particular position for science. That's why we have 5 factorial. So 4 factorial multiplied by 5 factorial. So 4 factorial a while ago, let's 4 factorial that is 24 multiplied by 5 factorial 5 factorial that's 120 so 24 times 120 wait 24 times 120 so 2880 ways all right so that's it class that's how you solve for tricky permutations or complicated permutations so if you like this video feel free to subscribe do not forget to share it to your friends and to your classmates and I hope you learned something new today. You have a great day and bye-bye for now. This is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.